Hello and welcome to video part 2 to introduction to geotechnical engineering. In previous video, we have seen basic idea, scopes, applications of geotechnical engineering or in which fields we can apply our knowledge of geotechnical engineering. As well as weathering and their types like physical weathering, chemical weathering, etc. and their difference. Let us move to types of soils in this lecture. Types of soils. Soil can be identified on the field if you know the particle size of the soil. Now on the screen there is boulders. Boulders are having greater than 300 mm size of their particle. Here I mean by particle size that is diameter of average particle. So, average diameter of the particle, if it is greater than 300 mm, the soil type is known as boulders. Boulders are generally not used in normal construction. If there is extraordinary constructions, boulders may be used. They are generally occurred in natural forms. Moving further, cobbles. Cobbles are ranging from 80 mm to 300 mm diameter size. Cobbles are used to make or construct pavement ways or we can say walkways on the street. They are comparatively economical option. Moving forward to gravels. You must have seen these type of soils on river banks which are washed by the time from the river or continuous pressure of the water. They are generally in between size of 4.75 to 80 mm diameter. Let us move forward to most commonly used construction material we know that is sand. Now sand is ranging from 0.075 to 4.75 mm particle size. You know the sand usage in different construction areas. Silt. Silt is some particle size which is in between sand and clay. Now, if the particle size is in between 0.02 mm to 0.075 mm, the particle size soil type is known as silt. You can see the picture of silt. Moving forward to clay. If the particle size is lesser than 0.002 mm, the soil type is clay. Moving forward to type of soil based on origin. You must know that every area consists of different types of soils which are not singular type. There are mixtures of different types of soils like sand and silt mixture of soil, silt and clay mixture of soil, there are different mixtures and combinations of soils in this field. So, you cannot assume only one type of soil is there in your hand. Let us move to based on origin. First type that is residual soil. Residual simply means remained soil. Remained soil means after transportation, after sedimentation, after depositioning, the remained soil that is residual soil. Examples of residual soil can be as black cotton soil and laterite soil. All the pictures will be seen in few minutes of these soils. Second type that is transported soils. Transported soil simply means that is transported from one place to another place. Examples of transported soil can be seen as alluvial soil, lacustrine soil, marine soils, aeolian soils, glacial soils and colluvial soils. All of the pictures and details will be seen in few minutes. Let us move further to third type that is miscellaneous soils. Miscellaneous soil, in first miscellaneous soil we can take it, take it as cohesion less soil or we can say non-plastic soil. We can see in this picture there is sand that is non-plastic or we can say cohesion less. Cohesion means nothing but 
attraction between same type of soil particles so in sandy soil we can know that there is no attraction between same type of particles so we can say it is non plastic or we can say that there is no plasticity coming in the picture moving forward to second type there is cohesive soil or we can say plastic soil we can see the picture there is clay in the picture in this we can see particles different type of particles joined together they are clogged together due to this we can say this is a cohesive soil and we can say there is plastic soil it will have some plasticity property moving forward to third type that is loam loam is very popular soil which is combination of sand silt and clay there is no singular type of soil based on particle size but there is a mixture of sand silt and clay you can see this in the picture moving forward to next type there is black cotton soil black cotton soil you can see there is a black texture coming in this picture as well as this soil is very much useful for the crop of cotton that is why it is known as black cotton soil moving forward organic soil organic soil can be defined as composition of dead plants animal extracts and organic matter organic soil do include carbon components where inorganic soil do not include carbon components we can see inorganic soil in the picture let us move to next item that is muram muram you must have the word muram in different construction sites before construction of any building there may be filling required for filling we generally used muram muram is nothing but a mixture of different types of soils which is used for filling surfaces or leveling the surfaces it looks like in this picture red soil according to its name it is having red texture that is why it is known as red soil same way desert soil now in deserts this type of soils are found and it is called as desert soil due to its texture and its look out let us move further transportation of soil after erosion of soil it gets transported through different mediums like wind water ice and gravity and they can be separated by them if transportation of soil is done by wind the soils are known as aeolian soils examples of that can be taken as sand dunes and loess if you visit any desert or if you have seen pictures or videos of any desert you must have seen the sand dunes generated by wind heavy wind generates sand dunes in bottom picture you can see loess loess are also generated from transportation of wind or air moving forward to next step that is if it is transported with the help of water that soil type is known as alluvial soil now examples of alluvial soil can be given as lacustrine soil and marine soils now lacustrine soils are seen in the top picture on your screen in this picture we can see different soil strata different soil strata different soil layers so it is a stratified soil so generally lacustrine soils are stratified soils are different layers and marine soils can be seen in bottom picture if the transportation medium of the soil that is ice the soil type is known as glacial soil examples of that can be taken as drift outwash and till in the top picture on your screen there is drift you can see small particles coming from the drift of ice after freezing and thawing process drifts outwash and till gets generated 
you can see in the top picture there is drift in the middle picture there is outwash it looks like outwash of the icy surfaces and last bottom image is showing till so these are different types according to ice if the transportation medium is gravity we can say those soils as colluvial soils example of that can be seen as talus it can be seen in ancient egyptian structures so these are the soil types due to transportation mediums let us move forward to soil spread in gujarat if you are residing in gujarat you must know what are the soil types existing in gujarat so let us check one by one in north kutch region there is desert soil in southern kutch region there is coastal alluvium soil you can see the area in this pictures in north and east part of saurashtra there is medium black cotton soil and in south west part of saurashtra there is deep black cotton soil in central gujarat region we can say near and about ahmedabad region we can say there is sandy soil in north gujarat region there is clay soil as well as loam and in southern gujarat region there is goradu sandy loam kind of soil now goradu means its texture is whitish that is why it is known as goradu so in south gujarat there is combination of goradu soil as well as sandy soil as well as loam type of soil so these are basic approximation of soil spread in different areas of gujarat there is not fixed that in ahmedabad region there is one type of soil is only there there may be variations but it is approximated areas and types of soils we will discuss next chapter in next video thank you